today friends we are going to discuss various constitutional posts let's start a lecture with the discussion on the most important person in india no i'm not talking about me i'm referring to the president of india president is considered to be the first citizen of any country we borrowed the word president from us constitution but the notion of president or a nominal head was borrowed from the concept of queen from the british parliament in britain parliament comprises of three elements lower house upper house and the crown similarly in india parliament comprises of lok sabha rajya sabha and the president of india in order to enact any legislation both the houses will have to pass that law with the required numbers and then that law will be sent over to the president for receiving his assent once the president signs a law it gets published in the official gadget and law gets enacted president is considered to be the most important person in india he sits over the joint session of the parliament he promulgates ordinances when the parliament is not in session he gets to travel around the world with state honor he gets to live in a palace known as rashtrapati bhavan he even has his own security guard regiment the president's guard if you are thinking about becoming the president of india you need to consider certain things in mind these are the people who got to enjoy these facilities in their lifetime india's first president was dr rajendra prasad do you know that we celebrate advocates day in memory of this person jani jail singh became the first sikh president of india dr zakir hussain was the first muslim president of india shri k r narayanan was the first dalit president of india and pratibha devi singh patel was the first women president of india if you want to be the president of india you need to be an indian citizen you need to have completed 35 years of age you should be mentally sound and you should be competent to contest for lok sabha elections you will need 50 people's nomination and 50 voters as seconders this brings us to another important question so who are going to vote electoral college for presidential election comprises of all the elected members of both the houses of the parliament all the elected members of state legislative assemblies all the elected members of legislative assemblies of union territory delhi and pondicherry voting is done on the basis of single transferable vote through a secret ballot system if you win the election of presidency then you would be administered oath by the chief justice of india and in his absence the senior most judge of the supreme court but if you want to resign you will give your resignation to the vice president of india because whenever president is not available vice president works as the acting president of india in case president as well as vice president both are unavailable then the chief justice of india will serve as the acting president of india this happened only once so far in history when justice hidayatullah had to work as the acting president of india once elected president serves for 5 years and his tenure starts from the day when he enters his office if you want to remove a president you will have to follow the process of impeachment president performs various function and has many powers for example he has executive powers whereby he can declare new law in the form of ordinance he also has diplomatic powers he visits foreign countries to better our relations he has military powers he is the joint commander of our armed forces he also declares emergencies president of india also has power to veto the legislation passed by the houses of the parliament there are three different kind of vetoes that he can use absolute veto qualified veto pocket veto when president uses absolute veto the bill returns to the house and never resurfaces if he uses qualified veto bill is sent back to the house for reconsideration if that bill is second time passed whether with or without amendments then the president will have to sign it pocket veto is a tricky concept if a president is neither signing it not returning it it is called pocket veto it has been used only twice in our history president of india also performs judicial function and he has pardoning powers so even if you got conviction from the court of law you can 
send your mercy plea to the president. If he feels right, he might respite, reprieve or commute your sentence. If you think that being the president of India is the coolest thing to do, have a second look. As per Article 74 of the Indian Constitution, President shall work on the aid and advice of Council of Ministers headed by the Prime Minister. That means, although he has to work on aid and advice, but they have used the term shall, which makes it mandatory for the President to follow all the advices given by the Council of Ministers headed by Prime Minister, which makes the PM effectively the most important person. We can say that president is the de jure head of the country, but the prime minister is the de facto head of a nation. Did you like this video? Then you should definitely check Endeavor Clatch online course. 100 plus hours of live lectures, 120 plus topic based videos, 500 plus sectional and full length mock tests covering CLAT, ILAT, SLAT, LSAT, MHCT and more.